art was kind of a getaway for me. We were living in a not so good neighborhood. My dad was dealing with a lot of drugs. It was something for me to get away from all the things that were going on outside. That's why I stuck with it. Art took me away from the streets. I'm Desmond Mason, former NBA player. I was able to step away from basketball on my terms. Played my 10 years, it was fun, but to be able to do what I love to do a second time around, it's been a blessing. I've always been an artist since I was 11 years old. I first became interested in art, like most kids, doodling on the desk and in the books, hanging out with my skateboard buddies. You know, they're tagging buildings and drawing on their skateboards and the funky hair and the whole thing. And I'm from a small town in Texas, um, so that was really outside of the box. Art was something that I utilized with basketball for the same getaway I did in my neighborhood to take me away from the stress of everyday practice and bad games. So I paint my dorm, I had projects to do when I was in NBA, I was doing it on the road, I was taking my portfolios on a plane. Some of my teammates thought it was a little weird and only got on the plane with a portfolio drawing. To some extent, I would say I definitely earned the respect of my teammates um, because they bought my paintings. Life in the NBA, it was fun. It was hard. You, you find out very fast it's a business that you can be moved and dealt at any given time. And the life that you know is not necessarily a life that you're going to have. It's not as glamorous as it looks uh, from afar. It's stressful because you want to play great. And if you're a big money guy and you have a bad game, you got to deal with media. And if you're not a big money guy, you want to be a big money guy, so you deal with contract negotiations. I wouldn't say I had a dream to become an NBA player, but I would never change my time. I'm so excited to see these. Every piece that comes back with a frame on it looks totally different. Like once it's framed, it's a whole nother thing. My first real show was in Seattle. It was the summer after my rookie year. To finally like put it on a public stage was a big thing for me. I had never been that nervous, not ever in any basketball game I've ever played. I thought people would just judge me because it was not good, and that wasn't the case. I sold a few pieces to people um, that are still clients today, and I was proud of the moment. I'm playing NBA basketball, so I'm making a salary and I'm getting, like, I'm super excited about selling a 600 buck painting. Like, it was the biggest thing ever. And by the time I was five, I was playing football and basketball. But when I was three, I was in the car with my dad and I was sleeping in the back seat. And a guy my dad knew pulled up next to him and his car was overheating. And one of the guy just goes and flips the lid and all this radio fluid flies out of his car over into the roll down back seat where I'm sleeping and just splashes all over my legs. I'm in the hospital for almost six months. Tons of surgeries, skin grafts, treatment dips. The doctor eventually comes in and one of my legs is starting to draw up because my skin is tightening, so it's starting to pull up, and so the doctor basically says that, you know, he's never gonna be able to run again. Luckily, our doctor was wrong, but it became this psyche thing over a long period of time. And, you know, you get the kids making fun, and um, so I developed thick skin. I think it allowed me to paint in a way that, even if people judged, it didn't bother me so much. My artistic inspiration comes from all my emotions and the things that I deal with on a daily basis. Uh, my family, my kids, my wife, our life. It's all feeling, it's all past, present, future. It's good times, bad times, it's turmoil and controversy. It's kind of like a mix of a lot of different emotions. My emotions change minute to minute, hour to hour, day to day. So that's why I enjoy painting that way, because it changes my style. And that's not traditional but it's me and it's real.
that's kind of what makes it hard to, to sell a painting because I look at it and I can tell you kind of what was going on in my life at that moment, um, whether it be good or bad. The ability to be creative at any given time is, you know, it's, uh, it's irreplaceable. Mm -hmm.